the waters of the state belong to the people of the state and without their ownership and desire to protect and improve those waters no state government local government is going to be able to do it alone it's going to take everybody working together after a watershed is monitored and those results are assessed the MPCA relies on partnerships with local stakeholder groups to develop restoration and protection strategies and to establish long-term plans to implement those strategies. Stakeholder groups include state agencies, local government, like cities, watershed districts, counties, and soil and water conservation districts, and citizens who live, work, and play in their watershed. Part of the MPCA's job is helping stakeholders understand the importance of their role in the process. You can't expect people to take action if they don't understand it, so it's very important that we engage the public and, and everybody in the watershed so that they understand what the problem is, so they don't think we're just asking them to take actions without, a, without understanding the reason. I think the most important thing that I've seen over the years, and it never used to be this way, uh, is basically the agency people are really, really coming together and making this just an unbelievable effort in creating the watershed concept here. Just becoming familiar with your local place, and, and that's where I really strive to educate people, is really get to know your local place. Know how you're impacting your local area, uh, your watershed, whether it's on a lake or off a lake what's happening there and pay attention. When people see how even though their own lot may not be contributing a lot to the problem, if everybody had that same attitude, the lake would be in much worse shape than if everybody got, on the, got with the program and began to take action. So we're just beginning to learn about the impact of the larger watershed on, on our waters. A friend of mine called and he said, gee, they're talking about putting shoreland buffer rules in and we need to keep, you know, and his comment to me is we need to fight that, we need to have grass down to our water. And I said, well, I guess, don't you understand that grass down to water does have some negative impact to the, and his comment was, well, but I'm only, you know, one farmer. I said, well, there's 1,500 lakeshore owners. <laughs> so if everyone thought that way, then we'd have 1,500 times the, the runoff going into the lake. If you want to learn more about your watershed and make a difference by getting involved in the watershed restoration and protection process, you can join the nearly 1,500 Minnesotans who track the health of their favorite lake or stream through the Citizen Lake and Stream Monitoring programs. The agency's Citizen Monitoring webpage has all the information you need to volunteer to measure the clarity of lakes and streams and collect valuable data the MPCA uses to make restoration and protection decisions. Or visit the MPCA's watershed webpage. Find the watershed where you live and then click on it. There you'll find an overview of your watershed. You can learn about ongoing restoration and protection activities. You can view maps that show any impaired waters and monitoring locations and you can find local staff contacts who can help you get involved. So I think a person watching this video um, should educate themselves on how do I leave uh, as an individual a lighter footprint on the land. Because I want our water to stay safe. If there's no water, there's no us.